is. All right, dad of all trades here. Just doing a quick little video. Um, so, uh, live in a small house, a little bit of an attic, um, but you can feel the heat coming from the ceiling sometimes. So, I wanted to get an attic fan, something simple. Uh, we already had the vent here. So, I found this Quiet Cool. This is the Quiet Cool um, AFG SMTP Pro 2.0. You can go and look at all the cool things, but it's pretty cool. It's got an app. Um, you know, hooks in Bluetooth to the thing and do all sorts of settings. Really cool thing about this, which I didn't realize it has an actual plug, right? So thankfully on my light up here, there was a outlet built up in, which was nice. So I don't have to go and run another outlet here. So right now me and my little buddy are going to, uh, try to install it. Um, it comes with a couple little, these vibration pads, these little things to cover, um, that basically seal around it a bunch of screws and hardware one thing it, it was a little too small for it so i had to go out and buy this piece of wood and we're going to cut this to size and fit it in there so we kind of frame it out and then we're going to hook the fan up to that but it should be pretty easy um got a couple of little things here just some some caulking stuff to fill in any little cracks so we get a nice seal because they said they really need to make sure that if there's you know if it's not covering the whole opening you need to seal all the other stuff up so um yeah we're gonna get to it and make a video when everything is done all right all right well we installed it so <clears throat> essentially probably went a little overboard but uh, i had to fill in a couple spots i got some some wood and had to fill in basically a spot here inside the window frame to build it out a little bit so I can drill this in. Um, so it went pretty, I mean, it was pretty easy. There's only four little things there and then they give you these little rubber, um, it was on these, these little rubber tabs to help with the vibration. Um, so I put that in, fit that in. Then they give you these plastic um, pieces that fit. So I put those on there and essentially I took some of that caulk, um, caulk stripping, uh, caulk cord, this stuff, and there was a little gap, so I just kind of went in and I filled it just to show you. And then um, where the seams met here, I just took some good Gorilla tape and, and sealed that up. And then I just went around the side and everywhere and um, <clears throat> did that. And basically, it's sealed up pretty good. It works pretty good. Um, I'll do a little video too on the app thing, but if I put just this button here... That is high speed, and you don't hear anything. I actually mounted the little box over here, and then I ran the cord up and over, and I'm gonna clean this up too. Up and over, and into the light outlet there, which again is great. I didn't have to wire in a, a receptacle or hardwire the, um, you can hardwire this system if you, if you really needed to, but why would you? Uh, but yeah, that's as loud as it gets. That's the high speed, and then there's low speed. Oh no, that's off. <laughs> oh, this is high speed, okay, yeah. So that's high speed. I haven't really checked out the volume yet. That's the low speed. I'll turn it off here. And then essentially, it's a, it's a very cool, ow, this hit my head. A very cool, uh, rainy-ish overcast day. So uh, right now I think it just said the temperature in the attic is 71 and the humidity is like 55 percent so there's a bunch of settings and stuff but i my whole point of this was just to show you how easy it is to install and you know in my head i thought i was gonna have to do so much more stuff here but this was super easy it's 160 bucks it's made and built in the usa which is kind of cool and um yeah i like it i'm gonna uh i'm gonna go mess around with the app a little bit and make a little video on that so you can see uh but yeah pretty cool can't wait to see how it actually works on like a ridiculously hot day all right there's my little helper. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is the um, the app. Basically, we need the dock cooler. Um, so you come in here and click on here. And honestly, I don't really know too much about the settings just yet. Um, there's a smart mode where you can activate it for the set for a preset for the summer and the winter. Uh, right now, if that's on, it's not coming on. I think. There's something I got to look and see how it, how it all works. There's a timer mode. So right now you you might have just heard that kick on. So now that so now it's on for three hours. Um, I guess you could set that for all different times. Turn it off. Then if you come into settings, you can come in here. Um, fan model generic. Oh, you know what? Actually, that is the two. Where's the instruction guide? Bring that over here. It is the yeah the 2.0. 
So let's check that. Maybe that gives us... Oh, they want me to enter the serial number. It's probably for registration. I'll do that. I'll do that later. Uh, we'll just do generic for now. And then I guess there's presets and stuff. So you can create... Oh, yeah. Here you go. So low speed, turn on 80. High speed, turn on at 100. Turn fan off 90% humidity. Turn on at 70% humidity. Desired speed low. All right. That's cool. I don't really don't know what I want to use just yet. But paramode temperature unit firmware update i did that there isn't an update available um stop doing that what else we got in here it's really it it's not too complicated i mean it's a fan it's going to take hot air it's going to blow it out i thought i had red in somewhere in here but maybe it's not this model that it will actually take sometimes they get night when the attic air might still be a little hot it could take the outside cool air pump it in and then recirculate it to kind of cool everything off but i don't know if this one does that specific thing um winter it's pretty cool though so i'm gonna mess with it just wanted to show you the app that it comes with but it's pretty cool it's been pretty nice and again it's very it's only 70 what did it say it's um yeah, it's 74 degrees up here right now so it's not really bad humidity's 57 percent so it's not very um it's not very hot so we'll see how it is in the next blazing hot day and um yeah stay tuned thanks for looking any questions or concerns that you might have or anything you see that i messed up let me know in the comments section all right take care well no it's into the app here all right so this is the um the app basically we need the dock cooler um so you come in here and click on here and honestly i don't really know too much about the settings just yet um there's a smart mode where you can activate it for the set for a preset for the summer and the winter uh, right now if that's on it's not coming on i think there's something i gotta look and see how it, how it all works there's a timer mode so right now you you might have just heard that kick on so now that so now it's on for three hours um i guess you could set that for all different times turn it off then if you come into settings you can come in here um fan model generic oh you know what actually that is the two where's the instruction guide bring that over here it is the yeah the 2.0 so let's check that maybe that gives us oh they want me to enter the serial number it's probably for registration i'll do that i'll do that later uh we'll just do generic for now and then i guess there's presets and stuff so you can create oh yeah here you go so low speed turn on 80 high speed turn on at 100 turn fan off 90 percent humidity turn on at 70 percent humidity desired speed low all right that's cool i don't really don't know what i want to use just yet but Paramode temperature unit firmware update. I did that. There isn't an update available. Um, stop doing that. What else we got in here? It's really it. It's not too complicated. I mean, it's a fan. It's going to take hot air. It's going to blow it out. I thought I had red in somewhere in here, but maybe it's not this model that it will actually take. Sometimes they get night when the attic air might still be a little hot. It could take the outside cool air, pump it in, and then recirculate it to kind of cool everything off. But I don't know if this one does that specific thing um winter it's pretty cool though so i'm gonna mess with it just wanted to show you the app that it comes with but it's pretty cool it's been pretty nice and again it's very it's only 70 what did it say it's um yeah, it's 74 degrees up here right now so it's not really bad humidity is 57 percent so it's not very um it's not very hot so we'll see how it is in the next blazing hot day and um yeah stay tuned thanks for looking any questions or concerns that you might have or anything you see that i messed up let me know in the comments section all right take care